Now, this is a study of the liver parenchyma. In this view, you can see there is the outer surface is uh, too smooth but wavy and there is diffuse increased parenchymal epigenicity with coarseness and as the beam goes, comes down up to the diaphragm it's attenuated, it goes weak giving a sweep below the costal margin with the face of the transducer towards the patient's right shoulder. You can see the coarseness. Now this is the quadrant probe of the liver or the segment one. This is the longitudinal section of the left probe with wavy outer surface. This is the left hepatic vein entering the IVC. You can see its margins are blurred. Not that sharp as it should be. This is the transfer section of the electrode. And here comes the hepatic vein. As you can see that uh, its margins are not that sharp. There is blurring of the vessel margins and the adjacent area shows more poor coarseness as compared to the peripheral area. Now this finding is very much consistent with cirrhotic liver parenchymal changes, early cirrhosis. Hepatic veins. This is the main hepatic vein and with the liver. This is the portal vein. This is the main portal vein and with the liver. And again, see that Even this uh, hepatic vein is showing you blurness with adjacent uh, area showing more coarseness compared to the peripheral region. The parenchyma of the kidney shows more darkness compared to the liver. The drawn pedal is normal. This is the interloba fissure or main median loba fissure. So the study of uh, this liver is suggestive of early cirrhosis. We'll say that the patient is having uh, cirrhotic liver parenchyma changes that not advanced but at this stage. The outer surface is not that irregular, though it is wavy definitely. So this is uh, how we study the river. Thank you.
here I am showing you a Lewis parenchyma and uh, you can make up yourself if you know the normal that in this view the liver shows inhomogeneous texture rather and coarseness it, the picogenicity is increased uh, diffusely increased with the uh, coarseness within it and the vessel margins are blurred comparing with the parenchyma of the right kidney again you can make up that the degree of coarseness of the uh, liver is quite obvious and uh, if we come towards the left lobe of the liver again you will see there will be blurness of the vessel margins along with the muscle, along with the uh, the blurring of the vessels the outer surface of the liver is relatively uh, Smooth is not that uh, much irregular. It is wavy though, but does show a little bit of uh, waviness. And this is the echogenicity of the left loop of the liver in transverse section. So what we will see is the outer surface of the liver, the uh, vessel margins and if you know the normal you will see that this is coarseness all over the parenchyma and comparing it with the left, right kidney you will see that the echogenicity of the right kidney has gone down because of the diffuse increase the echogenicity of the liver above it and then see the gallbladder wall the plumbus surface logo now you see it's Halilo. Now you see that the wall of the gallbladder appears much brighter, uh, though much brighter because of the adjacent diffuse liver parenchymal disease. By itself, the gallbladder is normal. So this is a still. Now this is uh, a liver in, uh, in on the screen that you are seeing is the right lobe of the liver. See, what do you say about this? From here, you can see that there is very mild degree of irregularity of the outer surface, uh, very mild. And this, you can see coarseness, see the degree of coarseness see the degree of blurring of the hip, uh, vessel uh, hepatic vein and uh, this is a liver depiction. Actually this liver, now see the walls of the gallbladder. Gallbladder itself is normal but its walls appear too thick. Uh, not thick, rather ecogenic. They appear ecogenic. They are thin, but more ecogenic than uh, we expect them to be. This is uh, the portal vein. This is the right hand diaphragm. So, while studying the liver parenchyma, concentrate mainly on two very important parameters. One, the outer surface of the liver. This is the outer surface of the liver. Not that irregular, rather presently, I will say that this is a relatively smooth outer surface and there is diffuse increased parenchymal epigenicity. There is coarseness in this liver and uh, Periportal echoes are of no importance in such livers, nor is the gallbladder. So, nor nor is the diaphragm, and nor is the uh, right renal parenchyma. Now you see that here the liver is appearing coarse.
the renal parenchyma is giving a normal parenchyma lipogenicity, whereas this is a case of very early stage uh, uh, liver cirrhosis or chronic liver disease, early stage, mild. So this is early stage cirrhotic liver with smooth outer surface at present. Here again, this is the left lobe of the liver. And uh, you can see that the outer surface is not that uh, irregular. <coughs> so this is an early stage, very early stage of liver cirrhosis, early cirrhosis. Take a minute to walk. Well, here I am showing you an image of a cirrhotic liver. <coughs> in which this is the outer surface, this is the raised ecogenicity of the liver. And the coarse texture is also in front of you. This is the portal vein, this is the gallbladder, and the walls of the gallbladder always appear thick uh, in cirrhotic liver in most of the cases. And this is the thickness of the wall that you are seeing is because of the adjacent uh, cirrhotic liver. Now, this is the inferior vena cava, this is the portal vein. IVC and you see an ecogenic area, even an ecogenic area within the IVC measuring approximately 14 millimeters. And uh, okay. Now this is the inferior vena cava in transfer section and uh, this is the, this area is a clot formation within the IVC. This area is even ecogenic and uh, is uh, suggestive of clot formation in, in the inferior vena cava in transfer section. <coughs> this is the transfer section. Now, in longitudinal section, when I uh, rotate it, now keeping it here, where I, let's show you from where I was showing you first. Here, this is the, here I was. You can still see an ecogenic area within the IVC. This is the port ruin. And, uh, Now when I move the probe 90 degrees, this cystic area that you were seeing becomes tubular and you can still see that this is the IVC in longitudinal section now and this equal, even the ecogenic area is suggestive of a clot formation within the IVC. This is the gallbladder. It contains few calculi within it. This is the cirrhotic view. This is the way you can see that uh, the outer surface of the river is irregular. This is the coarseness. This is the regular outer surface. And uh, it is uh, very smooth around the interior surface of the river. It is surrounded by a tube. This is the irregular outer surface of the river. This is the tube. And this is also the tube. Coming again to the same pathology that I mainly uh, wish to show you in this study is the formation of a clot within the IVC. Now, 
to the transfer section. This is the transfer section of the IBC. This is the clock within the IBC. This is the portal vein, the liver, and this is the right and the diaphragm. And uh, when I move the probe 90 degrees, you can still see the echogenic area. Now, there is uh, This is the left lobe of the liver in the longitudinal section. This is the left hepatic vein. <coughs> so, now again concentrate on this area, the transfer section of the IVC with the clot filling. And now I'm moving the probe. 90 degrees. You can see that uh, in longitudinal section even there is a clot that is so far non-obstructed because uh, the rest of the, it is not occupying all of the human and not blocking the total uh, I will see. This is a magnified view to show you the why it is uh, really a hepatic uh, vein. See the curve. This is a typical curve of the IBC. And secondly, you will see that this uh, left hepatic vein will be entering the IBC. So, there is a clot formation within the IVC in this uh, section of the study. Once again, this is the inferior mina cava. This is the clot inferior in the uh, inferior vena cava. Now, we show that this is inferior vena cava and not uh, some of the cystic area. But had it been a cyst, it would have not changed its uh, shape. And at the, the portal vein is not portal vein because you can see the portal vein is there. This is the portal vein. This is the IVC. This is the gallbladder with two tiny calculi within it. And uh, the liver is cirrhotic. Portal vein is patent and not dilated. that I can show you on my machine and uh, you can see that the clot is there. So this is in the human of the inferior vena cava. This is the clot. Remember the shape of the clot. And it persists in the same location. So this is a short study regarding the growth in the inferior vena cava. Thank you. This liver study is regarding the parenchyma of the liver with the here I am showing you the whole liver and you can make up the coarseness the irregularity of the outer surface
this was this is to show you the outer margin of the lever it is irregular the parenchyma shows diffuse increased echogenicity with coarseness with uh, blurred hepatic vein margins these are the hepatic veins see the blurness of the margin see the coarseness of the liver see the gallbladder wall shaggy wall the gallbladder is by itself normal but the anterior wall appears much brighter compared to the normal this is the portal vein and here we will see the portal vein branches in the left lobe of the liver in transverse section this is the left lobe of the liver in transverse section this is the caudic lobe ligamentum venosum this is the ascending portion of the left portal vein and these vessels that you are seeing are that of the portal vein irregular outer margin and coarseness of the liver parenchyma all these findings are suggestive of cirrhotic liver thank you video segment relates to the study of liver parenchyma this is the longitudinal section of the left lobe of the liver and you can see that the it, the outer surface is irregular margins are rounded This is the portal vein and uh, in transverse section that of the right row a uh, left lobe of the liver we are you will be able to see the irregularity of the outer surface you see this is the irregular outer surface see the increase diffuse increased parenchymal eco brightness or ecogenicity and the coarse coarseness that is seen in it and due to the coarseness the vessel margin is seen blurred this was a magnified view it lamba sara jo hai ki lamba sara hai now see the gold better wall the gold better wall will show a very characteristic appearance of baby uh, so this is one form of the gallbladder wall you will see the shagginess of the wall this is the right lobe of the liver this is the kidney with liver Easily, you can easily make out that this liver is not normal. There is uh, not only increased ecogenicity, there is coarseness as well. And uh, in uh, such liver, where there is no importance of comparing them with the renal parenchyma, the outer surface is of importance always. Magnify a bit and see the. outer surface is irregular not too much but definitely irregular per water passa le alte patient in left lateral decubitus posterior 
be the coarseness of the liver parenchyma, that of the right lobe along with irregularity, mild irregularity of the outer surface of the liver. This is the outer surface of the liver. Now, sorry, see that this is the middle hepatic vein and note the degree of uh, blurness of the margins of this vessel and the coarseness, enhanced coarseness adjacent to it. So this is a uh, uh, I mean, a case of the erotic liver with uh, uh, liver parenchymal changes, irregular outer surface, with the blood vessel margins, shaggy walls of the gallbladder. This is stage one uh, cirrhotic liver with no fluid seen surrounding it. Thank you. Now, this is segment five regarding the evaluation of the liver span by real more ultrasound. Now this is uh, a liver which is seen below costal margin when I give a sweep to the probe below the costal margin. You see, it means that I think. I place the probe in this direction and then I give a sweep down up to this level. Uh, lower postural margin from here to here and I can clearly see liver below postural margin as we are here. This is how I am giving this is how I'm giving a sweep to the probe and I see the liver below the postural margin. So this is one number one. Secondly now this uh, is uh, suggestive of the fact that the liver is enlarged. Now how much is it enlarged? See that the liver angle, well it's not sharp, it is rounding. It's not sharp, it's rounding. Now see the kidney. Does the liver exceed the uh, lower pole of the kidney or not? Patient is in so fine posture. And here you see that the kidney, lower pole of the kidney, let me get a better view. You can massage like this, are okay. Well, here you see that uh, the lower pole of the kidney, this is the lower pole of the right kidney. And this is the liver. Here. Yeah. So the liver does not exceed the lower pole of the right kidney, thereby suggesting that this is a minimally enlarged liver. Only thing is, two, two findings are seen. One, the liver is below the costal margin. Second, we do see rounded liver angle. It's not sharp. If we try to measure as per the routine that is being used, <coughs> then it measures one forty seven. Now you know between twelve to sixteen centimeter is considered as normal. So if we use this technique, which is in which is in practice, then the liver span is 14.7, thereby suggesting that the liver is within normal limits. The liver span is normal, whereas it is not. It is seen below postural margin. The angle is rounded, and uh, the uh, liver does not exceed the lower pole of the right kidney, thus suggesting that this is. Uh, 
minimally and not zero. So this is second study number two, uh, five. The Bacharach fellow. Now, if I ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it, then yet what you see, now if you get a patient, perfect. If you see a patient, with, they were seen below postural margin, rounded liver angle, and the kid, uh, they were exceeding the lower pole of the right kidney. As for example, here. Then you can say, well, the liver is minimal to moderate BMI. Subarcan. And as you can see, here. In this case, the liver does not exceed the uh, lower pole of the right kidney. This is the lower pole of the right kidney and this is where the liver ends. So this is basically a minimal definition of a minimally enlarged liver. Thank you very much. This is uh, segment one on demand that how to measure the liver by ultrasound the span of the liver by ultrasound. Now this patient uh, is in supine posture. This is the liver in front of you. The practice is that you get the kidney and the liver together and then let me magnify a bit and then they measure it from the uh, diaphragm this is the hemidiaphragm, right hemidiaphragm. This is the right kidney in longitudinal section, and this is the liver. So they measure it from the diaphragm to the liver uh, angle. Now this is the liver angle. Now once you measure like this, this is that this shows you that the liver is spans 12.2 centimeter and the normal dimension of the liver is considered to be from 10, 12 to 16 uh, centimeters. Now, this uh, liver, by this method that is being used very widely, is uh, at the lower uh, margin of the normal, but as I have already said in many uh, video segments uploaded so far that uh, we cannot measure, we should not measure the liver in centimeter or millimeter by ultrasound. By ultrasound. The reason is that uh, uh, in by real mode method you cannot measure the liver in centimeters or millimeters, it's only by A mode that the liver can be measured in centimeters or millimeters. <coughs> it will be quite insufficient if it will suffice if we only give uh, the liver in uh, regarding, you should only say that the liver is enlarged or not. Let's say I will now this liver is not strengthened and is not at the lower uh, margin of the, uh, and as you can see this is the liver span, now here, this is the left lobe in transfer section, this is the lobe, this is the right lobe, and this is the left lobe. Now, by none of the parameters is the liver uh, shrunken or is uh, small or enlarged or uh, say it is, uh, if it is 12.2 then it, it is at the lower margin of the normal. Whereas 
this river is absolutely within normal. So what we should do is that uh, we should just place the probe below the coastal margin, give a sweep. Patient supine, give a sweep from the epigastric region down, come below the uh, coastal margin, give a sweep down, and you should not be able to see the liver below the coastal margin. So in this case, in this patient, we are not seeing the liver below coastal margin. Now, keep one thing in mind that there is only one condition in which you can measure the liver in total, and that is when the liver is shrunken. Otherwise, uh, when the liver is shrunken, yes, in that case, you can give the measurements of the liver in centimeter or millimeter. If the liver is not shrunken, just give liver is enlarged or not. And secondly, if it is enlarged, then is it minimally enlarged? Is it minimal to moderately enlarged? Is it moderately enlarged? There are certain parameters to define this, which I have already uploaded on many, many video segments. And uh, okay, I will repeat it as it has been requested for. Thank you very much. This is the part one. Here we are seeing the normal liver. Thank you.